Hi, I'm Carl Conrad and I'm part of the Australian Immigration Law Services team. We've been around for 23 years, so we have loads of experience in immigration law and in dealing with the Immigration Department. This channel is all about how visas work, how to get them, helpful tips and important updates such as changes in requirements, eligible occupations and more. If you want to live, work or study in Australia, you should definitely subscribe to our channel. Today I'm going to talk about if you need to update the Immigration Department on your circumstances and what you need to tell the department after your visa is granted, or do you need to tell them anything at all? If you're making a visa application, you must tell the department any change of your circumstances of the information you have supplied in the application process. If you fail to notify them the changes circumstances before the visa is granted and the immigration department finds out later that you failed to do so, then your visa can be cancelled. For offshore applicants, you need to notify them any change of circumstances, not just before the visa is granted, but all the way until you first enter Australia. If you don't, then your visa can be subject to cancellation as well. For example, perhaps you were single when you were offshore and after your visa was granted, you got married before you entered Australia. This is a change of circumstances which must be notified to the department before you enter Australia. The department is not interested if you change your address or changing your jobs before you arrived in Australia, but something significant like getting married or even having children is something they need to know about. When you read your immigration grant letter, you'll notice towards the bottom that it states you'll need to tell the immigration department any changes in your circumstances, such as your name, passport, contact details, address or family members. It also states that if you don't, it could mean serious consequences for you. This is a very bold and intimidating statement that something bad will happen to you if you don't keep your details updated with the immigration department. But is such a statement even true at all? Let's take a closer look at that. What about our temporary residents? What do you need to tell the department? This can vary depending on the conditions imposed upon your visa. For example, the current Regional 491 visa, which replaced the previous Regional 489 visa, came with new visa conditions that Australia has never seen before. These visa conditions mandate that you notify the department when you change your address, when you change your employment, and if you're studying where you are studying. But interestingly, it does not require you to notify a change of relationship status. This means you do not have to tell them if you get married, enter into a de facto relationship, separate from your partner, or even get divorced. To learn more about these visa conditions, watch our videos linked in the description below. For other visas such as student visas, you do not need to inform the department, but you need to give your education provider certain details and inform them when they change. It's then up to the education provider to update all that information on the government system. For other temporary visa holders, if there are no conditions imposed upon your visa, which specify you must notify the department of any particular details, then you do not need to. When you become a permanent resident, there are no conditions on your visa. This means that you don't need to abide by any particular visa-related rules. The Immigration Department's statement that you need to notify them of changes of circumstances is a bluff. And in reality, as permanent residents, you don't need to tell them anything about your life at all. You don't need to tell them if you change your employer, you don't need to tell them if you change your address, and you don't need to tell them if you change your spouse, bought a new car, or have a new four-legged family member. Now, if you have a new two-legged family member, this is useful to tell them to get a passport, etc. But even then, you don't have to if you do not wish to. If you change your passport details, this is useful to tell them to 
as it will help facilitate a smooth entry and exit from Australia when you travel. So for all you permanent residents out there, you can relax. There's no need to tell the Immigration Department anything. The purpose of making this video is to remind people that we do not live in a police state. We do not live under the threat of visa cancellation simply because you have not updated a change in your personal life. Australia should be a place where we can respect people's privacies and keep the government in check of the limits of their powers. The mere fact that the Immigration Department has a threatening tone on the grant letters should be a matter of concern for all of us. And this is where I feel greatly for our poor temporary residents holding the 491 visas, facing the threat of visa cancellations for failing to inform them if you're required change of circumstances. Is this a country we want to be? Do we as Australians want to act in a manner like other countries? where we do not speak their names. If you need help with our visa conditions or want to understand what your visa allows and doesn't allow you to do, you can speak with one of our specialists. We are available for consultations on Zoom, Skype and the telephone. Visit australiavisa.com to reserve a time. And follow us on Facebook to get all of our updates. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. We'll see you in the next one and always take care and I'll see you next time. So bye for now.